Hey guys, welcome to Hops and Brews. Today we're going to do another beer review on Melvin's Double IPA, The Hop Shocker. Hey guys, like I said, we're going to be doing a beer review on Melvin's Double IPA, The Hop Shocker. Now this beer comes in at an 8% and a 95 IBU. Untapped does give it a rating of 4.17 with 1,700 check-ins, and Beer Advocate does give it a 4.13 but with only 25 check-ins. This beer does state that it comes with uncut lupulin powder, wild Yakima and crude processed mosaic, and Simcoe hops into an alpha acid pow-pow. Let's see what this tastes like. Right away, you do smell some tropical notes, but it's not super heavy. You do smell some of the Simcoe bittering. Now, it is not super sweet. You do actually taste more of the Simcoe hop flavor to it, which gives it almost a dry, grassy note with a little bit of pine wood flavor. Bittering at the back end, but not super bitter to where it's that classic Northwest IPA. It does not taste like a 95 IBU uh, beer. I do love the clarity on this beer, though. That is a beautiful golden color. I can see right to the center. The bubbles are coming out very nicely, very well carbonated. I like that in a beer. Aroma, fantastic. This beer definitely needs a good pour and a good glass to show off the aroma. Um, this smells better now than when I first poured it. You get this melon aroma, this tropical aroma. Surprisingly, not a whole lot of citrus aroma. And less pine than originally when I first poured the beer. So, final thoughts on this beer. This Melvin Double IPA Shocker with Simcoe and Mosaic. Great hops, by the way. I love the can. The can has this nice matte finish label to it. I think it's actually really nice, really clever, really sleek, and it feels actually really cool. Clarity, awesome, super great, crystal clear, just, looks like yellow honey uh, aroma fantastic if you've ever brewed your own beer and you've opened up a bag of sealed hops and smelled it for the first time that's what this beer smells like it doesn't smell like fresh hop but it smells like hops that you just opened out of a bag downside flavor wise of the hop profiling pretty basic Body-wise, a little thin for a double IPA, and the flavor is pretty forgettable. Solid. It is a solid beer. I probably won't remember this for the flavor. I probably will remember it for the can and the name. I'm John. This is Hops and Brews. Thanks for joining me. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Heck, you can even follow me on Untapped. They're all hops and brews. Check me out. Links will be in the descriptions below. Check out some of my other videos. Give me a like. Give me a subscription. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Hot sugar. Here you go. Hot sugar. Hot sugar. Hot sugar.